Hello everyone, right, uh, how exciting is this? Look, I've got a Bluetooth mic, so no kicking the camera off by catching the lead. Okay, uh, this week, just a quick intro taster uh, to our lesson plan, which is bag work and uh, us, which translates uh, sharply to, I'm giving it 100% with whatever I'm doing here, okay? Uh, so uh, you might hear us acknowledgement, uh, like a yes in the class, or just a greeting of us. Uh, okay, it's uh, it's a terminology, a, a sound, a, a word that you're you're here at the training. So uh, when we ask, "Are you ready?" Uh, us is the response. It's not just yes. It's giving a hundred percent to what we're doing. Uh, this week in bag work, uh, we're going to ideally work on a shield because this is what we would usually be doing at our dojo in our classes on this week. And uh, I'll just give you a couple of pointers on this in a moment. So ideally, a, a shield. Uh, see, do you want to grab your gloves ready. If you didn't have a shield, focus pads are good. If you get someone holding uh, still with focus pads. If you don't have focus pads, a pillow, or we can have our make our own uh, punch bag. I came up with this this week and it seems to work uh, really well. So if you get a duvet, you know, regular bed duvet, put a pillow in it and you can wrap it up like so. A belt or a couple of belts work well like this, you can do one on one end and then tie tie a knot. It's like Blue Peter. Do you remember what Blue Peter is, see? Yeah. Okay, and then you could go the other end. Did you know we were on Blue Peter once? We were guest instructors. It was cool, that, that experience with instructor Lisa Sean. Okay, right, and then you've got your own homemade punch bag. Do you want to test it, see? Uh, yeah, maybe maybe you've got to hold back on power on that one, just slightly. But there's our, our homemade uh, punch bag uh, if needed. But what we can do here is, uh, in this session, is work our, on a shield. There's different ways of holding the shield. So if you're new to uh, holding the punch bag, uh, I personally prefer holding the top strap here and one hand here. Get your elbow over into that position. So that's the way I prefer to hold it or take the hand through both straps and then hold this one to the side like so. The only problem I find with that, my own arm hits my body if they're really strong. And this way I can hold the bag slightly higher as well. When holding the bag, the objective is to hold it as a target for your partner and hold it nice and strong. So keep it facing in their direction. Uh, tomorrow's class, we're gonna teach you to move around the bag. So do you wanna start working, Cece? Uh, as you move around the bag, we stay still. Don't follow the person like this. You risk yourself getting hit and it's also the practice that they need to get, your, your student uh, needs to get uh, practice to know on the, on the bag uh, moving around. You can always tilt the bag for say an axe kick, uh, like so, for axe kicking the bag, that's fine. Uh, but ideally working on a shield if we've got it to hand. If you don't have a shield, we're gonna do everything shadow, even if you haven't got a partner anyway, okay? So this week we are working bag work and we're working that us mentality, uh, giving 100% uh, to whatever we're working. Okay, so do join us tomorrow uh, for that. Us, peace out.